Well, as you know, I use this metronome here, which is pretty loud. And you can regulate, of course, the, the volume. And this one, the Cork KDM2, it's a very good metronome. And this is just a $50 thing, it's one of the very few things on expensive, which are great. And uh, I recommend you to use this, because the other ones, which have very low voice, uh, they may be covered when you need to play, say, stuff like strumming. With this thing, you need to have a loud metronome, right? And therefore, I don't use any, nor do I recommend any of these so-called flamenco metronomes. That's another, that's another waste of time, in my opinion, right? And also, because as far as what is concerned, what we are doing here in CFD with the Paco Luis style, there is no need to have any screen there, a dumb screen there telling you which is the beat, and then after, you, unless you are watching that screen there, you cannot, you cannot play anything. You need to learn to count and play this stuff, as we explain, and I will post in the description of this video, why do we count and play to have assimilation, assimilating perfectly well the rhythm yourself, not that the machines will do for you. You need to work you. Machines or software or stuff will not do anything. Of course, if you have a recording, as sometimes I use also, uh, things of, like the caca, the percussion, playing some basic uh, rhythms there, so that you can practice your improvisation or your facet as you think, then that's great. Right? But that's not the machine telling me what to do. I need to know how to play myself. So, same for you. And therefore, this is a very good metronome. I will post the link in the description in case you want to get it from strings by mail. And if they have, because sometimes they sell, sell out everything. So, this is a good metronome. You ask me which metronome do I recommend, and this is the only one. And forget about this. Uh, flamenco metronome, so called things. These are some stuff are made only to make a business out of it and really are totally unnecessary. Otherwise, we are with the same confusion like what we had before regarding the staffs and, and notation and give me the tabs and all that thing. I will post in the description of this video also that tabs generally, well, when you know what to do, are useful as a data. You're just there to remember the notes or fingerings. But no tab will make you play, that's another thing, that's for sure. And therefore, please watch that, I will post it in the description, as well as a link of this metronome. Uh, this is the only one that I use, and it's more than enough. When you know with the plain rhythm, you don't need even to have accents or marking the accents there, just a flat rhythm there. And that's more than enough. If you learn how to play it with this, then, and learn counting and all this stuff, and you don't need any flamenco metronome. So that's the answer for your question. Thank you, and I see you next time.